this week going in, you know, everybody kind of knows it's an overmatched opponent is, is a good word for your personnel wise. What do you look at in your personnel as far as what you want to get out of those guys? You, know, you kind of want to get some different guys in there? Or? Yeah, it's more similar to, you know, week one. I mean, this is an opponent, this is a good defense. They were the number six ranked defense in FCS football last year. Um, they play together. They've been in the same scheme now for a number of years. Defense coordinator does a really good job. They play sound. They play hard. Um, different, a little bit different from ULM because there's a new staff, new a lot of new things. These guys have played a lot of football and played a lot of football together in the same system. So um, it's a challenge for us because they do things so sound. They don't really give up a ton of big plays. They play top down in the secondary. So um, a little bit different from the scheme we just saw, which was very aggressive in the box, doing some different things. Um, so we need to execute at a high level. And yeah, it'd be great to get some guys in, but at the end of the day, it's really about us executing. And it's one of those games similar to ULM in that way, where it's about it's more about us than them. You have experience coaching at that level. What was the mentality when you were in twice as when you would go into Yeah, we, we should have beat UConn in 2016. We lose them 21-20 on the last drive of the game. And you go into the game, and you got nothing to lose. You got nothing to lose. You go out and play, and you're not really expected to win the game. But, you go, I mean, how many op opportunities and, um, you know, examples do we have to show of FCS teams beating the brakes off of FBS teams? So it's absolutely possible. And um, if we don't play the way we're supposed to play, that could easily happen. On Saturday, when you guys go down, or when they come back and tie the game, if you guys go back down the field and, and make the, the score to go ahead, yep. how confident were you? Because it seems like in years past, that wasn't a sure thing that Kentucky would be mm -hmm. able to respond mm -hmm. once they were kind of hit. Yeah, I thought that was a big drive. Um, you know, I think we, we came out, threw it on the first drive on the out cut to Wandell, first down. We hit the uh, zone replay to Chris, big hit. And then we kind of moved down, and we ended up getting the screen. You know, to Justin, which was a big play. I mean, the, the, what people have got to notice about that play is what Luke Fortner did was just incredible. I mean, he comes out on the screen and he's on what we you know call rat kill, so he's trying to go clean up the backside. And well, he knows he can't crack back on him because it's a penalty. And he saw that the angle of which the linebacker was on, he ended up just scraping paint, is what we call it, and just try to scrape paint and basically go set a pick. And I mean, there's not many opportunities that an O-lineman gets to do that in a game. And he's been watching special teams. He watches those guys do it, receivers. I mean, that that's sprung the play. And those details is really what showed up. And we ended up finishing that drive. I, I you know, we never felt like we should have been stopped. So that, that, but that's just our standard. It's not like any different opponent. It's just, that's where we're trying to go to. I know the fans are pretty excited about the versatility this offense has shown the past two weeks. Mm -hmm. Are you excited about it? Yeah, it was nice. I mean, I think last week I sat in here with you guys and said we got to run the ball better. And that was obviously a focal point of, of the week. And you don't go into it thinking you're going to call 50 runs. But, um, you know, like Coach said, scratch where it itches. And, and I think that that was something that definitely was nice to see our guys uh, win the line of scrimmage do it in, in a manner of which it was no contest and it wasn't even close. And that's what you want. You want us to be able to run the football when we want to be able to do it and throw it absolutely when we want to, but also when we need to. And I thought we had a decent balance. I mean, we called 26 passes and only 18 go on the call, just on the stat sheet, but we called 26. You know, sacks, scrambles, little things like that show up and we don't end up getting to that kind of 25 to 30 mark is kind of where I like to live in the past game. But, um, you know, if you have to throw it more, we'll throw it more. If we got to run it more, we'll run it more. So, not to give away the game plan, if you wanted to if you run the ball better last week, what do you want to do better this week? Ball security. I mean, that was our biggest focal point today. We did a uh, ball security circuit with all the skill players today. Everybody went through it. Three stations, three drills, guys doing multiple different ball security things. And we, you clean that part up. Uh, you feel like we played a pretty clean game. I mean, we're not always going to be able to uh, do everything we want. You know, I mean, Steve Wolf is a good coach. I mean, he did some really good things on third down against us that uh, showed up. Last time I saw it was, you know, in the NFL, and um, I wasn't ready for it. It was a great job by him, but we ended up still being able to move the change in some of those third downs. But it was more, you know, a couple of guys made some plays, but ball security and really just, again, owning the line of scrimmage. We own the line of scrimmage this week and play physical. The rest will take care of itself. What, when, when a 
guy fumbles twice right before he goes into the end zone as opposed to somewhere else in the field. Does that say something to you specifically about I, those I've been there, but you know, I think it's probably just maybe that relaxation right before, like right as you're crossing the plane, it's that little bit of relaxation that might happen. And that's really just, um, that's situational football. You know, that situation, he's been put in that situation, now we can learn from that situation. Thank God it didn't cost us a ball game, right? And he knows that. But he's been, now we'll see what he does in the situation again. And But I have full confidence in him to be able to go. I mean, never, I never thought for a second, oh man, he's gonna fumble. I just didn't, you know, when we kept giving him the football and um, his ball security was very good for the most part, except for those, you know, bogus plays. Some coaches, when a mistake like that happens, might put a guy on the bench for a while. It doesn't seem like you're a guy who relegates people to the doghouse. When you know, you know, it's just kids make mistakes. You know, I made some bad calls. You know, I didn't get benched. You know, so at the end of the day, we're all going to make some bad calls, bad decisions, bad plays, and. I truly believe on game day, it's my responsibility and our job as coaches to be, act more as caddies, you know, and just, hey, let's keep playing. We got to keep our best players positive and keep them upbeat. And um, that was the goal there. I mean, he was, he had a hot hand. He was doing a great job all game. He just had a couple of bad plays. Just going back and watch the film, how much you evaluate Will and the way he went through his progress? Really good. I mean, he, what we asked him to do, um, he made great decisions. He made, he, through the pick on the same play as the first game of the year, same play, but there was a different look. We were trying to give Smoke a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. They did a great job of masking man coverage and playing zone, so it, it spooked him on the coverage read. He comes down to Isaiah, he's late, he tries to rip it, it's behind. Just the multiple things there, but I thought he did a really good job of uh, running the whole operation. I mean, we, we probably have about five or six, you know, audibles in the game plan and he handled all those great and um, I think you guys saw his ability to run the football also gave us some yards I mean I think he had like 40 yards rushing which added to all those rushing yards that we had so I was pleased with him he played really hard he played tough and I think the guys are starting to rally around him even more what is Will working on right now in terms of those intermediate throws to avoid that you just, know that constant situation over something off it a little bit you know when your arm's so live um, sometimes you just you got to slow it down a little bit and that's hard to tell any thrower of the football to slow your motion down because it's just not natural to do so it's more so just continuing to get those reps at the throws that he's missed um you know and it's those kind of short intermediate in breakers that we need to continue to work on we worked on them a ton today and just try to get them to think a little bit more a head height with a little bit more of that softball there as opposed to a rip it throw and he'll get it he'll be all right well, you saw Derek Carr have one like that yeah last night around the goal line so yeah like a guy that's it, played forever yeah and he has a live arm too man you know he's it's one of those things sometimes when you have such a live arm and it's difficult to decelerate your arm it's just not something you ever really want to teach a kid to do but it's something that I do think for him to just maybe take a deep breath on some of those throws to relax as opposed to get tense and then try to rip it. Deep breath, calm, relaxation, you know, base, bo base balance, body position, be in good shape. What do you think about Saturday when you saw him uh, put some of the men in his box on a regular, regular basis? Um, you know, I, I felt fine about it. You know, it was, it was one of those things that we were prepared for it. We had some really good things in the run game. I felt like our staff did a great job of scheming up our run game this week. And um, we knew that we, we had to run the ball to do some of those things, to get what we wanted to get accomplished in that game because of how they played all that press man and all those green dogs I was talking to you guys about last week with the play action isn't as good because they just add on and blitz. So really we wanted to run the football and um, you know, I, I liked it. It was great that they packed the box and we were still able to run the football. Let's talk about Luke. We talk about Luke's play. How athletic is this something? I mean, they're known for being physical and yeah. you know, power run yeah. game. Are they athletic enough that you can do some Funny. of the things you want to do on screens? Oh yeah, screens. You saw. I mean, we ran crack toss about five times in the game, which is tackles pulling, guards pulling, tight ends pulling. Um, you know, we ran pin and pull, which is guards and centers pulling. So. Um, they're plenty athletic to do it. It's just about giving them some opportunities to do it. And, um, you know, I think that my philosophy is, and our philosophy as a staff is variety in the run game. 
you know, having some variety, be able to have our go-tos that we want to still get to, but we, ne we need to be able to scheme people up, not only in the pass game, but in the run game. And I think that that was something that our tackles and athletic athleticism up front allowed us to do this past week. Last one, Jeff. You talked about the, the back's vision a little bit and we going and leaving some, you know, empty yards mm -hmm. on the field. Did, did that take a step up? Yeah, it definitely did. We improved in that uh, dramatically. You know, we were hitting all those zones on the back side, which is what we're trying to get accomplished on those things. And you saw Chris hit some of those crease and Smoke had a, a couple really good runs. And uh, we definitely saw improvement. I knew we'd get that fixed. And that's something that you see, you know, one or two times and you can get it fixed. And, um, you know, those guys are diligent. They're, they're conscientious. And coach Settle's a great coach and got those guys right. Okay, folks, thank you. Let's thank you, guys. Appreciate it.